The county Antrim coastline in Northern Ireland is the perfect stage for one of the world's most exciting sporting events, the Northwest 200. It's situated just a stone's throw from the famous Giants Causeway, and today's motorcycle racing promises to be every bit as spectacular as this magnificent coastline. You really can't get any closer than that. They're so close, they can smell each other's aftershave. There's no room for a mistake. It gets no better than this. It's a spectacle of a spectacle. Two days before racing got underway, tragedy hit the Northwest 200 when Robert Dunlop was killed during a practice session. Two of his sons, William and Michael Dunlop, were due to compete, and almost everyone expected them to withdraw their entries. Yet, to everyone's astonishment, they took their place on the grid in the first race of the day, the 250cc class, the very class in which their father had lost his life less than 48 hours before. It's a remarkable story and the drama continues. William Dunlop is out on the warm-up lap, so the elder of the two brothers is out through mechanical failure. Now it's down to Michael Dunlop, 20 years old, on the three bike in the middle of the front row. Alongside him, John McGuinness on the number four, and 18 is Paul Robinson. That's your front row. It's all going to be down. Oh, and a great start from Michael Dunlop, aviating that 250 machine. Down the coast road then. Michael Dunlop gets a great start behind him. Christian Elkin on the number five bike. McGuinness, not such a good start from him at the moment. A little bit slack from uh, the Morecambe rider. Down the coast road for the first time. A little bit steady perhaps, Philip, down towards these uh, early turns. Yeah, it's important. Everyone wants to pick off pretty quick, but John McGuinness, the old hot, has just taken off a little bit slower. The, the left-hander here is very, very important. Get the brakes on. New tyres. You've got to be careful because if you slide off here, there's going to be no more racing today. Paul Robinson out in front and McGuinness recovering from what looked like a bit of a slack start as he came down to York. And now he's really flying as he gets into the braking area. Up to the roundabout for the first time then. Dropped it in nice and gentle across the uh, cross hatching on the road there. It is McGuinness in second place. Out front, Paul Robinson as the rest file through in bottom gear.